Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Stadium. We are sitting down with head women's soccer coach Damian Brown as he prepares his team for the 2013 season. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely, thank you for having me. You've had the team for a couple of weeks. you got an exhibition under your belt. Your thoughts on the team so far in 2013? You know, I think we've been really happy with them. We felt that the spring provided a lot of good insight for us in regards to players and the things that they were going to be able to contribute. And I, I have to commend the women to this point in regards to the fact that they've come in and done everything that we've expected. Our fitness level was great at the beginning, and uh, I think we showed some really good stuff uh, last week against San Diego State. Last week you were picked first in the conference, only the second time in the last 10 years or so. Target on your back or a welcome challenge? I think it's a very much so a welcome challenge. Uh, I think after, uh, after the last year and some of the success that we had, it, it was going to be difficult for us to sneak up on people. Obviously it does put, uh, in some regards, a little bit of pressure on us, but we have such a mature group, I think we can handle that pressure pretty well. You lost your top two goal scorers from last year. Where are the goals going to come from in 2013? You know, we've been really happy with how Nikki McCants has been playing. Uh, her energy and her strength up front has been great. Obviously, when you add players like Christina Birkenroe, who had a great spring, Rebecca Wilson, who's been great for us during the course of her career, uh, those three players, I think, are going to really put some pressure on other teams' defenses. Watching the San Diego State exhibition, that's the number 11 team in the country. It was a scoreless draw. Defense seems to be your strong suit early on, despite you only having one starter coming back on the back line. Yeah, you know, Morgan, Morgan has been our anchor, and we're so happy to have the return of Kelly Bonner, who sat out last year due to injury. Uh, she's a fifth-year uh, player with a tremendous amount of experience, and so having the two of them uh, playing for us at the center back Add uh, Laura Milano, who's a senior, who's had some great experiences, and Colleen, who's uh, going into her junior year. I think, again, even there, whereas they might not have that on-the-field game-time experiences for Lauren and Co., we feel really good about them. Talk a little bit about your freshman class. You've got 10 new faces. You've got a red shirt in net coming back from last year. She had to sit out. How quickly do you expect that group to continue? You know, we've already seen them. Uh, we've already seen them add to the training sessions. Obviously, watching them in the competition with San Diego State, we are very impressed with Ivy, Ali, Jasmine Mancia. Uh, even Camila comes off the bench for us, and she did a great job. We're really excited about that class, and we, we're hopeful that it's not too long before they're really contributing. Who do you expect to have a breakout season this year? Who should fans keep an eye out on? Yeah, you know, I think... Uh, to. To take a really good look at the team, you have to think Rebecca Wilson is, is going to do some really good stuff for us. Uh, Rebecca, obviously Chelsea, is our playmaker and does so many things for us in the middle of the field. And so we look to Chelsea to have another very strong and consistent year. And then uh, Christina Birkenrode, I think, again, someone who has the potential to do great things this season. Your schedule kind of tough, five teams getting some national attention early on. Uh, talk a little bit about your non-conference schedule and how that's going to get ready for Big West. Yeah, we're very excited about it. Obviously having the opportunity to travel out to Provo and take on BYU uh, as the number six team in the country in the preseason poll, we're so excited about that and feel strongly that our non-conference does tremendous in helping us prepare for what is going to be a very difficult conference season again. How do you see that conference rate shaping up? It, it's going to be a challenge. It's definitely going to be a challenge. You know, we have some great teams in our conference, some difficult places to go and play, and so every game in our conference is going to be a challenge for us. Cal State Fullerton women's soccer team has their first home game on Sunday, August 25th, 4 p.m. against Fresno State. Coach Brown, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.